I mean, guys, how much do I love pink? Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the kind of old background. If you still remember it, leave a comment below. I know I said that I will not be filming here anymore because I'm trying to keep my bedroom as my own personal space and the space that I just like use for relaxation and I don't use for working but I feel like nowadays I have plenty of time for relaxation and I have decided to spice it up a little bit for this video because I felt that this video could do so well with this background and also is it okay if I admit that I missed it a little bit just a little bit plus I'm a woman so I'm allowed to change my mind as many times as I would like to which I 100% take my full prerogative off and I, I take the advantage of that, you know, like sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. In today's video, I wanted to film a highly requested sunglasses collection video. Actually, I managed to cut my sunglasses collection to how many pairs? We will put a number here. I've recently done a spring clear out. I even filmed it, kind of like cleared out a lot of stuff that I'm not using, that I don't want. And this is what we got, okay? So while I was like trying to sort them out, I realized that I got mostly sunglasses from Fendi, Dior, Gucci, Celine, Linda Farrow, some Chanel Paris. There's a lot of variety in here. I wanted to talk you through some of my favorites to try them on, to tell you a little bit about them, so I'm gonna start getting straight into it. Uh, before I start, I also know that I will probably be getting a lot of questions about my own sunglasses line, but at the moment of the corona times, I'm not able to kind of go into that because it's just such an uncertain time that I'm not really sure there's like no way of kind of figuring things out right now. So everything's on hold, except from life. Life must go on and talking about that, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all fine and I hope you're all looking after yourself because right now, the most important thing is spending time with your loved ones. If you can't go outside, go inside. That's what I always say. Anyway, let's start with... What should we start with? Okay, Fendi or Dior. Let's start with Fendi. I think one of the oldest pairs of Fendi sunglasses that I have are these. You have probably seen them. Are they fine? Like sometimes sunglasses are crooked on my face because my face is also crooked. So these are one of the oldest pairs of Fendi sunglasses that I got. I feel like they're called Metropolis. Maybe the pair before this pair was Orchidea, but I love these so much. I think they're beautiful and really, really my style. This is the Orchidea, but this is the second pair that I got. So before these, I had another one. I love this kind of cat eye. Very feminine, very beautiful, like they have this stunning detailing. They're kind of now like such an old model, but I've never kind of stopped loving them and I still wear them. So really, really love them. Uh, one sunglasses that I always get the most compliments every time I wear are these Can I ones. I have actually two pairs of Can I sunglasses. These are with the pink and brown and they are kind of smaller style because Fendi actually created two different models of Can I. So they did these, which are my personal more favorite, but they also did another style, which I have in red and blue, and that looks like this. It's quite oversized. I don't really wear glasses like this, to be honest, anymore. I don't know why, but I um, still like them, and I did not want to get rid of them for my collection, so I think it's an iconic piece. Okay, this is Fendi Iridia. These used to be my favorite. They're my sister's favorite, so whenever she's stealing something from my wardrobe, it's which is basically never ever anything, like she never takes advantage of my wardrobe. But this is something that she sometimes borrows. I don't remember last time that she did, but I still love them so much. I love these little kind of pointy bits and I think Fendi just makes the most fun sunglasses always. So these sunglasses have a special place in my heart because they were kind of part of a collaboration that I did with Fendi, they were like playing an important role. I did a little campaign shoot for them for they are on a bicycle. I don't know who remembers. If you do, well done. Like you've been like a really loyal follower. If not, well, welcome. I will insert some pictures for you to catch up. Otherwise, you can go and check out my Instagram where you will probably find loads of things that you missed out on. But yeah, these are the sunglasses that I love. And the... Wait, 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 have we got more Fendi's? Of course we do. So, um, what's the latest pair I got? I can't quite remember. This is one pair that I got from Men's Collection. Now, these are the more sunglasses that I'm into lately. This is the kind of vibe that I nowadays go for, kind of smaller, 
pointy, cooler sunglasses. It just like fits my style a little bit more nowadays. I have to say that they are, these are from men's collection, though that means absolutely nothing to me. Like, is it a men's collection? Is it not a men's collection? Like, who cares? I'm gonna buy what I like. If, like, I'm spending my money, I don't care if it's men's or not men's, or what size it is, or... You know what I mean? Like, those kind of labels just don't really sit well with me, so... Wait, this is the last pair that I got. I got this during Fashion Week, which Fashion Week, wait, let me think. Yeah, during London Fashion Week in London. <laughs> Pretty simple. They're pink, they're oversized, and they have this, like, Fendi logo on the side, which is crystallized. I think the side is pretty beautiful. And I keep them in the first drawer of my sunglasses organization, so this I can always see, and it's just so pretty and sparkly, and... You know, can't blame a girl for liking sparkly things. And I have one more pair. This one was for my last Fendi Fashion Week. And these are pretty epic because they're asymmetric. I love asymmetric things, by the way. As you can see, one side is, I think, purple, one side is yellow. They're very oversized and they look like a big kind of bow. What do you think about them? These sunglasses make me want to go out, like sit in a cafe somewhere in South France or South Italy and just like enjoy the sun which is not gonna happen anytime soon but it's okay because I can make plans and I can just hope and wish and organize and clean all of this and kind of you know look forward to the better times which I actually do very 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 much Gucci I don't have that many Gucci pairs but I have two quite cool pairs that I think you guys will love so we got this ones over here clearly very much my style I will link this below I will link everything below so you guys can find them and shop them and then I have a pair of pink ones which are so clueless who knows what I'm talking about like imagine this in like a pink outfit and like a super super clueless vibe for me this is just like such a clueless moment and I think I have like audience old enough to know what I'm talking about right so love 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 my most worn Gucci sunglasses were these they're so big now they need to be tightened kind of I have a narrow face like long and narrow so you know um, but these I used to wear a lot and yeah I kind of like stopped wearing them a little bit they're just a bit basic right now for my what I quite like nowadays. Then I have these, these are definitely not basic, but um, they're so oversized. They're basically when I'm in a very, very, very hot summery place and the sun is very strong and I want to sunbathe. Sometimes when I'm like sunbathing, I can't wear glasses that are thin or that are really not protecting me from the sun because you just need something really strong. Or these are really great if you went out last night and the night ended up like being so dramatic and then the next day you're meeting up all of your friends uh, in a kind of your favorite restaurant to discuss all that went on last night. Dior. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight pairs of Dior sunglasses. I've tried to narrow it down. I really did. I got rid of the ones that I'm not wearing. How much I love these Colourpop ones. I mean, guys, how much do I love pink? I just remember they came out in every color and I was thinking of getting more, but I stopped myself at pink. Good. I have a few of the Montaigne sunglasses that they came out with this at the beginning of the year. These are very cool. I wore these at Fashion Week. So they come in like a black color. Also tortoise color, which is pretty cool. It's a bit softer on my face, but it's the same style. Love them. What do you prefer when you get glasses? Do you prefer black or do you prefer sort of like a brown tortoise like a type of Color. I'm very curious. Let me know. These are called Satellite. Satellite, I believe. I love these. Honestly, like they're very classic, simple, square, dark. Yeah, very cool. I remember when I went to Marrakesh with Dior for the cruise show, we got these sunglasses gifted. So that was really, really nice. I used to have so many pairs of Dior, but then you know like how it is, you kind of scratch them, lose them, break them, whatever. These are one of the pairs that I get always so many compliments on every time I wear them. They're very cool, so they like got like mini round lenses. Well, not mini, but like round smaller lenses. And they have some, some sort of print. I'm not sure if it's showing. They just add a little bit of cool. Or that's what I like to tell myself, I don't know. You be the judge. I have a few pairs of... So real, right? So real. These are colorful ones and I've scratched the lens a little bit but I'm still kind of stupidly emotional to get rid of them because I think I haven't worn them enough and I think they're kind of fabulous. Do you guys think still fabulous or not? Let me know in the comments below. I really, really need to know. We need to discuss that. That's really important. I do have uh, so reals that definitely need to go because they're way too scratched. They're in the mirror effect. So 
here they are. I used to wear these constantly day and night. Back in the day when these sunglasses came out, I remember was like 2015 or 14, maybe 14. And I was in Monaco on like a spring break kind of type of thing. I couldn't find them anywhere and I found them there. And I remember I bought them like in black and I wore them all the time. They're like my favorite thing in the world. And then I got these. These are kind of like a really cool smaller glasses. You see what I mean by my face being kind of crooked? I need to fix my... I need to I need to fix the glasses though so that they suit my face better. These are kind of like a smaller, smaller shape. Sunglasses like them. I haven't worn these enough, but I think they're pretty, pretty cool accessory. Let me show you favorite Louis Vuitton pairs. The first Louis Vuitton pair that I got was this when I just started getting into smaller glasses. Looks like this and is kind of like um, just a dark pair of glasses with a logo on the side. Very simple. I remember I got these before I went to Hong Kong in 2017, I believe. Last year in July, I got these in Anier when I went with Louis Vuitton to visit um, Louis Vuitton's house and the place where they produce trunks and stuff like that, which is like out of this mind, incredible. What is the name of this model? I'll make sure to link it below. I love them so much that I ended up getting them in a non-mirrored vibe as well because I thought this was more like you know, kind of appropriate for almost every day when I'm not feeling the mirror vibe because I don't always feel the mirror vibe and I need my options. Well, clearly not now in the house. No wearing any sunglasses right now. Such a great idea for the video, right? You guys requested it, so I'm filming it for you. Perhaps one of my absolute favorite pairs of sunglasses in my collection, which is from Versace, and it's this pair. Small, black, classic, 90s, and has this on the side. You guys have seen me wear these so many times, like so many times. I think I have a few pairs of Versace sunglasses, but I don't know where they are. I just realized they're not in here or they should be in here. There's another pair of sunglasses from Versace that I wear and I love so much. It's also a tiny pair, but these are, if I could choose one, this is the pair. This is like my 90s, 90s, like when I'm wearing black, I just pop these on. I'm like good. Quite a few pairs from Linda Faro. The latest ones in my collection are in like orange vibe. Very like cool, cute, summer, you know, simples. Then we have these blue ones that are very signature, oh, that are very signature for the brand. I actually match my dress quite well. Blue cat eye type of thing. You see what I mean? And then I have two smaller ones, which you guys know how much I love. These are probably my favorite sunglasses that I have from Linda Farrow. This is so my vibe. This is like 100% me. And I know that small sunglasses are not everybody's cup of tea, but I am so into them and so much so that I also have this pair. These are kind of similar, not quite, but you might kind of compare them to the Fendi men's style. You see what I mean? A Prada pair, talking about the smaller ones. I keep all the smaller ones all together. I love this Prada pair. Like, really 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 love them they photograph so well they're cool they're just you know tiny but still stay on my face love them and you can kind of see what i'm looking at if i'm looking at something under the glasses i have two pairs of bulgari sunglasses and this is the latest one in my collection the pink model i love pink did i tell you i love pink look how feminine and cute and soft on my face i love i love this pair and i have another pair by the way, like, Bulgari is doing such amazing 90s collection that's coming out for the autumn winter, hopefully, well, if, you know, things actually do come out for autumn winter, but I really like what they're coming up with. I have quite a few Celine ones that I'm just looking at and I'm like, when am I gonna get into Celine? When am I gonna get into Celine? Okay, let's do it. The latest pair in my collection and my favorite pair of Celine sunglasses that I own, I love wearing these when I'm traveling. I think they're so cool. They're so... Um, it's like a cat eye vibe with the mirrored glass. They came in three different colors. White, red, black, I believe. That was like the initial drop. And then they probably added a few more because it was a huge success. I love them because you can still wear like a summer dress and have like a heavy pair of black glasses with mirror. And kind of it still works. But it adds some sort of like casual note to your look because they seem very, very effortless yet stylish. 
I think that's the general theme with Celine. I remember when I got these, I used to love them and wear them all the time. Who remembers? Wow, they're so heavy on my face right now. Then these shadow, that's what they were called, shadow. When I tried them on, I was like, this is a pair I need right now because I love the gradient lens, which is quite spectacular. Also, like when you're choosing lenses for sunglasses, I think this is the most like uh, fabulous part of the design process. It's so interesting. Then we have another pair of shadow, but these are different. Are these crooked? They feel crooked. No, my face is crooked. Okay. These are great. They're dark. They're like hangover kind of vibe, right? When you hangover. I mean, which never happens to me. Never been hangover in my life, believe it or not. We have these, the classic ones. These always remind me of my friend Mariana Hewitt. She wears them a lot and loves them and she looks great in them. So yeah, these are my last. Actually, I have one more pair of um, Celine sunglasses, the Z top ones. Where are they? And where they got lost? No one knows. Like completely missing in action. Let me show you some Ellie Saab pairs. Now, I got both of these uh, Ellie Saab sunglasses gifted from the brand. And I think their sunglasses are so like out of this world different and spectacular these are kind of big for what i normally wear but i love them and i always travel like with them like i always bring them on trips with me because i love them i love this side i just think they're beautiful i love the detailing i love how much this like pops but it's kind of subtle it's different because it goes from the bottom to the handle so it's like really 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 pretty very comfortable as well for me like it's important to have comfortable sunglasses so i have another pair i remember these uh when they gave them to me they were like these are so exclusive because they're really really expensive the way they they do them they have like these like kind of golden frames and yeah i love these sunglasses they're kind of similar vibe to the dior satellite if you see what i mean saint laurent I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these, they're kind of a little bit over, but you know, they're like the heart-shaped sunglasses, I like them, I remember wearing them a lot when I was in Croatia two summers ago, yeah, two summers ago, these were my kind of go-to, and I think they're quite cute, also they match my personality a lot, it's very important to me, as you guys know, the things that I wear match my personality, another pair of like a smaller sunglasses but these are like small but then they have something like a kind of cat eye here I don't, I don't know like i've had these forever i got them from uh, from the brand and i think they're quite fun let's show you chanel i have two pairs of chanel sunglasses these are kind of like a light lens uh sunglasses not really sunglasses more like um po posy type of eyewear and they have these pearls on top can you see the pearls hopefully you will be able to see them on top here which is quite decorative and nice if you ask me like especially because chanel is obviously known for the pearls and it's really beautiful to have a detail like that for me like details are everything and then i have another pair which comes with a chain that i think is so fabulous but these are darker round i'm not sure if i if i suit round glasses do you guys think i suit or not i'm not 100 percent convinced let me know what you think i love these chains because they're the chains are really beautiful they have a little simple gold chain, a pearl chain, and then like a kind of Chanel handbag type of chain. And they have a little logo somewhere here hanging off. So it's really cute. It's a really cute pair of glasses. And if you look at them inside, they have like a chain all around the frame. Sorry if some of these glasses are kind of dirty. I, I keep like grabbing them with my hands. That is not quite advisable, is it? I have one pair of opticals. I don't have any like opticals. I don't have to wear them. I just like these for dress ups like with certain outfits when I feel like this is so well suited when I'm in the mood and I wear this and I like that and I'm sorry like yes I think that's ridiculous I love them they're from Gucci but there was a vibe when a nerd look was quite trendy sometimes it works you know I have a, one pair of sunglasses from Dolce Gabbana these used to be my favorite 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 sunglasses are the cricket I wear these sunglasses, like seriously, so much that I feel like they almost imprinted on my face how much I wear them. I wear them a lot, a lot, really love them. Still, like, could not get rid of these sunglasses. We're getting somewhere. I have one pair of Dita. I love these so much. Dita is amazing eyewear brand, like they're doing great. Love. I wear these a lot as well. Every time I wear these, I get so many questions on where are they from, where are they from, where are they from? so now you know they also come in different colors they're just very light i need to maybe tighten them a little bit for my face i have one pair of les Pecs. this is what they look like 
I mean, everybody knows these sunglasses. They, these sunglasses used to be such a big trend, I think. Maybe at one point Gigi Hadid wore them and then everyone was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't remember, but I think also the price point is really great and they're really popular. And I like them. I have one pair from Stella. It's almost like a mask. And it says Stella McCartney at the top. Just very dark and cool and moody. I have a lot of pairs of Jimmy Choo sunglasses. And you guys seem to love them. I wore these in Hawaii and I think I couldn't live from comments for the next like month where these glasses from. I really, really, really like them. So these sunglasses have like this kind of like a glittery, I don't know what you call it, but like a glittery thingy bob. Really cool. And um, I'll try and insert the clip. Now that I'm so regular on YouTube, I'm like bringing this everywhere because I have to be like uploading videos. Um, I think they're beautiful, cool, like big, but the color is so nice. I have one pair which I, which I wish I wore more because I think it's so fantastic and it's like this pair of Jimmy Choo's, kind of a little bit glittery or very glittery. Can you tell that they have all of these crystals all around like everywhere here, which is beautiful and they're kind of like a bit of a deeper color, almost ready, almost a little bit of a wine color lens. And then the crystals around are like stone color with some kind of wine color reflection. Beautiful. One of my favorite uh, Jimmy Choo and like, probably one of my first sunglasses from the brand are these. They have this kind of embellishments on the side that you can see. The embellishments are removable so you can clip them on or off. But I think they're pretty, pretty cute. And then we have a latest pair in my collection which comes with a chain. It's like a purple purple pair of sunglasses. These will go so well with my with my new Hermes bag, which I will hopefully be wearing sometimes when... Are they tangled? No, they're not. It just says true. We have few, very, very few more. I have these, these squared ones that I worn, like, I killed them how much I wore them. I, they're crooked on my face. Of course they are. Which side are they? Yeah. I would love to fix these because I love these sunglasses. Then I have the Todd's kind of mask over here. I love these as well. Are they crooked? No, they're not. Thank God. They have like a leather trimming, which is so beautiful and it's so Todd's because obviously in their factory in market, they have this like most insane leather factory you guys can imagine. And then I have a pair from Givenchy over here. This is more like jeans and white t-shirt type of day, you know? But what I love about them is that they don't have like anything on your nose. It's like the design is pretty cool, pretty different, a little bit minimalistic, but still with a quirky design. So I like that. And I have two pairs from Max Mara. So the first pair from Max Mara that I got, I wore so much during this fashion week actually. It's over here. It's like a purple pair. It's my style. This is like my kind of go-to shape of sunglasses that you can kind of compare to this, right? But then I got another pair which is going to be the last pair that you're gonna see during this collection and it's here. It's like this more going back to 2000s. I remember when I had like as a teen on my vision board models for magazines with glasses like these and yeah that's what was happening in 2000s. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what was your favorite style, if you have a favorite. If you think something's missing from my collection, if you think I need to get another pair, let me know. I'm sure my collection would love to hear about that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye guys!